So we're here in a Mercedes in Barcelona on P6 out of 7. And we're just waiting for the engineer to tell us we can go out onto the track. It's set to be a very interesting race in this car as the screen turns off. It just removes the engineer, does a bit of Gangnam Style there. Open Gangnam Style! Yeah, so, a bit weird that. Anyway, so the screen is removed, I'm off the jacks, and I'm told to go out onto the track. Back row of the grid. P6, just one guy behind me, a Williams in his home Grand Prix. Met lots of Spanish people in this Grand Prix. We've got three lights, four lights, five lights. And we're underway in Spain, not using any curves off the line, evidently, because I'm right at the back of the grid, and it's going to be really difficult to manage to overtake into this first corner. The Toro Rosso is going around the outside of the Force India. He's dropped back now, and that's good. And he's broken really early. Can I go around the outside? Because we've got a Lotus... No, sorry, it's a Red Bull up, and a Lotus off into the gravel. There's always, always someone in that gravel trap on the first lap here in Catalonia. So now we're going through turn three, just the Force India and the Toro Rosso battling up ahead, and... That Williams is quite close behind in turn four. And he's just trying, trying to go around the outside, doesn't quite work there. Uh, yeah. Now down the hill to turn five. The Force India's pushed quite wide as he now gets up right behind the Toro Rosso going up the hill once again. Very undulating circuit, this uh, Catalonia. And he's lost loads of time through there. I'm getting absolutely amazed. Oh, he's broken early and I've hit the back of him. That was sort of my fault, sort of his fault for breaking too early. He goes into the gravel and I go around the outside. He'll be quite annoyed with me, I would imagine. Sorry about that, mate, but, you know, don't break that early, otherwise I will crash into you. As we now go quite wide through the exit of that hairpin. And that Toro Rosso is trying to run away from us at the moment. So we've got to catch him quickly if we want a chance at second or even the win. Is that, is that an HRT? It's an HRT going miles ahead and the Toro Rosso has gone wide through the chicane. And we can cut underneath him and we take second place in the Grand Prix. So this is surely going to be a race for the victory now. As I desperately try to... Uh, wait, no, no, the Toro Ross is coming around the outside. and Oh my god. Now I've lost second place already. He has a much better straight line speed than me. But he's lost it through the thing. And we're right up behind him now. Oh, this is going to be really close. we got much more traction through turn three. Up behind the Toro Rosso, can we make it up the inside of this hairpin? He locks up very badly there, he's gone wide, and we managed to slot under through the inside, up into P2 once again. Now down through this hairpin in the hill, under the hill, sorry, or down the hill. And he tried down the inside, but didn't work, quite work out. And now he's trying down the inside, I didn't want to smash him off. And the Force India is joining us, as you can see, the arrow just behind me. And the Toros is getting ahead, I'm going to have to lift, otherwise I'm going to smash him into the gravel like I did the Force India last time. And now we've got the Force India trying down the outside, I'm just pushing him off, but he's not giving up. And a great move there by the Force India. And now the Toros goes very wide, up behind him, through this very difficult bit. And, it's, and you can see that because the Toro Rosso has just gone off into the gravel and that's an easy P2 for me. And the Force India is a second or so behind, so I'm safe for the moment. And now, I, yes, he's dropping back, so we use curves out that final corner. Now I think it's just going to be a straight race to get for, actually, no, 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 Julio Alba is six seconds ahead. He's at the fastest lap of 23.209. So instead of catching it, I think, well, let's just go for a fastest lap instead. So, yes, let, okay. So 23.209, he's done. I've got to go to 23.208 or quicker. We are gaining on him, actually, if you look at the map. And there's somebody up there who stopped with purple through the first second. There's somebody up there uh, at that mini straight in the middle of the track that's just stopped. He's probably been crashed off or something. He's annoyed. So he's going to be <laughs> fed up and he's just probably going to try and crash the leader off. That's happened to me many, many a time. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't like it when that happens, but that's how it, the cookie crumbles, as it were. And yes, he's underway again as the leader, Julio Alba, approaches. So he's going to try and take him out. He's just ahead. As we're still purple through the first sector, we can, second sector, sorry, we can get this fastest lap easily. 
and especially we could even take the win if that Red Bull guy, I think it is, takes out the HRT in the lead through the final chicane and I think he has taken him out, yes the HRT is off, the HRT is off and the Red Bull also uh, is slowed down massively and is he going to try and take myself? Uh, I'm going to throw a dummy, I've got past him, no! <laughs> he's just smashed me off, <laughs> what a crash, what a way to end the race, that was incredible, so <laughs> thank you for watching and goodbye.